What's up, everybody? Brian Goulet here. Wanted to show you the new ST DuPont Line D Guilloche. Three new colors exclusive to the US. I have not seen these in person yet. I wanted to unbox it for you. Yeah, it's just my cell phone shot. It's gonna be a little shaky, it's gonna be a little wacky. Audio is maybe not the best, but hey, you know what? These days, COVID life, you're gonna get what you get, right? So let's check it out. <clears throat> I lined them up. First one I have here for you is, I believe the red. Let's check it out. Ooh, ooh, oh my. Now, it's hard to capture everything here in video form, but dang, this thing looks good in person. Wow, okay, so S2 DuPont, not a brand a lot of people are probably super familiar with in the fountain pen world, unless you like go back 10 years. Uh, they've been kind of quiet. They have a lot of really cool, fancy cigar lighters. That's really been their focus the last 10 years or so, but they are trying to step up their game a little bit on the pen front, so it's pretty cool. Um, so this was an effort with their new distributor, Coles of London, same folks that distribute Visconti. Um, so they have been working with S2 DuPont to bring in some exciting colors to the US because we like bright colors and we've got that. Uh, so here we go. This is the red one and it looks, it just looks really fantastic now. Um, the process for this is really pretty interesting. So um, it's guilloche, which I'm not sure if you're super familiar with it, but the way that this works, I'm gonna zoom in, kapow. The way that this thing works is it is actually engraved metal. So it's actually cut on uh, an, basically kind of an ornamental lathe or what's called a rose engine, or there's lots of different techniques. It can be automated, it can be old school. I don't know exactly their process, but they've been doing it for a long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were a little more old school. Um, it is actually engraved in kind of this wavy pattern. And it's far more complicated than you would think, especially because the pen kind of tapers. So not only are they engraving this kind of wavy pattern, but they have to account for the taper of the pen. So it's very complicated, very expensive and time consuming to do this right. And then not only do they have the engraving, but it's actually smooth to the touch here and you can tell it's pretty darn shiny because it has a Urushi lacquer finish. Now this is something that SU DuPont, in my opinion, has not really um, made people enough aware of, at least in the US, um, that they do Yurushi lacquer. Typically, you only see that from Japanese pen makers. Super durable stuff, looks good, feels great to the touch. Um, it's a very heavy, very hefty pen. Um, the detail on this, the fit and finish is phenomenal. I mean, it's French, so it's gonna look really nice. We don't have a whole lot of French pens, but this one just knocks it out of the park. And if you're familiar with their lighters at all, not many of you are, but if you, you know, happen to know, they have this like very specific kind of click feel that they have on their lighters. And they're kind of known for this like click and kind of clink. And that's what they go for with the capping of the pen. So it looks really good, feels solid in the hand. It's a metal pen, so it's gonna be a little heavier. Um, but man, did they really nail the colors. So the red looks really good. These are Bach gold nibs, by the way. They're custom nibs made for S2 DuPont. Um, I'm not doing a full like writing review and everything here, but trust me, they write really well. They're really, really good nibs. Nice looking pens, same line D that we've been carrying. We have a blue or have had like a darker blue. That's kind of a more muted color, but I wanted to uh, show you these new colors. So let's check out this one. This is the turquoise. Ooh, yeah. Turquoise looks really good. And you know, as I'm looking at it through my phone, it looks a little bluer. It's definitely more of like, it's got some green to it. It really walks that line between blue and green. So I don't know how accurate my phone's gonna be, but I at least wanted to show you some of the details close up. I mean, you can see maybe a little better than the red, some of the really close up engraving. It's got a little bit of sparkle to it and everything. So as you turn it, you're gonna get some really kind of shininess. You get the shininess from the lacquer of the pen, but also, the metal like finish itself is kind of glittery and whatnot. Uh, very, very cool. Very cool looking. Um, you know, the red has that too, but I feel like the turquoise is maybe a little bit, uh, has a little more shimmer to it even. Um, and uh, super cool, super cool pen. Got a little fuzz on it there. That's from the pen case. Don't worry about that. Um, and then this one is of course the um, rhodium trim as opposed to the gold. Super, super nice looking. 
Wow, really good. Uh, and then <laughs> there's my favorite color, which I saved for last, of course, which is the blue. Oh, dang. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That is like punch you in the eyes blue. That, that is hot. I really like that a lot. It's kind of got some schmutz on it because of the foam on the inside there. But once I give it a little wipe, oh, wow. That blue pops. Holy moly. All right, let's zoom in on this one. Wow, it's so vibrant. Like, to get a blue really vibrant like this is actually kind of hard. It's tougher than you would think. Oh, wow, they really nailed it. Great job, SD DuPont. These are looking phenomenal. These pens are not the cheapest. They are definitely in, like, more of the kind of collector-grade pens. Um, but they're phenomenal writers. So I would say if you like a little heavier pen, it's not – it's it's a large pen. Like, my large hands um, and uh, – you know, I could even use this thing unposted because it's kind of long, um, but it does post pretty deep. It's a little back heavy though. I mean, that metal cap, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of substance to it. So I would say this is probably a pen you're gonna wanna write with unposted. In France, I believe, they do not typically post their pens. It snaps on there, it snaps securely for sure, you can write with it, but I think it's gonna be more comfortable unposted. You know, that's gonna put it in a more comfortable size, more comfortable weight for you. Um, it's got a metal grip, but it's a fluted metal grip, so it actually is not uh, like slipping around in my hands and stuff. That's typically, you know, I can slide it down a little bit, but it's actually, I don't know what it is about this grip. It's not super, super slick metal. I don't know if that has to do just with the type of finish. I mean, you can feel it's, it's textured. You can feel, you know, it's definitely fluted. Like those are physical like flutes in there. Um, but it, even still, it, my, my hand's not like slipping and sliding all down the thing. So I actually really kind of dig that. Um, very gentle step right here because it's got that snap cap, uh, you know, so it doesn't have to have all the threads and a whole bunch of other nonsense getting in your way. Um, but just like the fit and finish on these are phenomenal. So, you, you know, again, if you like this aesthetic, if you really appreciate kind of the level of craftsmanship that goes into a pen like this, if you want something that can be written with every day for decades, this is definitely an awesome pen. Um, I don't know how many of these they're going to be making, um, but I know it's not a forever kind of thing, and it is exclusive to the U.S. So if you find any of these colors appealing, we're going to have MagulliaPens.com as long as they're available, and uh, you should totally check them out. Made in uh, France, uh, just outside of Paris, and uh, pretty cool. Good job, DuPont. Appreciate it, and uh, check them out now at Goulet Pens. What's up?